Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about adding a couple of plugins to your Audacity program. We're going to talk about the DSer and the DClicker programs. Now, once you download your Audacity program to your computer, you're going to want to add these. And if you set up your, your audio correctly, you may not need it, but you might want it. So we'll just go in there and, and add them in. And what I did was uh, the sites where I would typically download when I was downloading Audacity to find my DSer and DPlugger uh, or DClicker plugins are no longer there. Great. So I just typed in where can I find a DSer plugin for Audacity? Well, the first place it took me was Audacity DSer plugin. Shop now. I was like, that's not what I'm looking for. So I typed in DClicker for Audacity and it took me to forum.audacityteam.org and you can see right here uh, let me get rid of this down here that there's two downloads the DSer and the DClicker just click on them one click one click and you can see them downloading at the bottom left I'm going to close that out and I'm going to minimize this now you just go to your file explorer I have two of them open so what I'm going to do is uh, put them up side by side on the left hand side, I'm just going to scroll up and go to downloads and you can see I downloaded them previously, but you can see I just downloaded them here. And then I'm going to go over here on the right hand side and go, where's my audacity at? Where does it live at? Well, mine lives in the C drive and program files, audacity, then I go to plugins. You'll notice that all the plugins in here have a .ny file extension. And you'll notice the DClicker and the DSer also have the .ny file extension. So you would just click on these, control click, and drag and drop them into your plugins. Now mine's going to holler at me and say, I'm going to say copy here and it's going to say, do you want to replace them? No, I don't want to replace them. Okay. If you don't have them in there, it'll just load them in there and you'll be good to go. So. With that being said, I can close out of the uh, file explorer. I'm going to open up Audacity down here, double click on that, and of course it came up on my other screen. Uh, before you can use the DClicker and DSer, it's going to ask you to do a recording. So I'm just going to get close to my mic and try and make some obnoxious noises with my mouth and everything so we can hear the clicks in my mouth and the S's as I'm completing this task. So I'm pretty close to the microphone and then I'm going to give it a long pause at the end. Then stop my recording. Now when I'm doing audio editing, I would typically just take a, a noise reduction sample here and what we're, we're telling it is get rid of any noises that sound like this. Get rid of them. Uh, but we're, we're going to listen to this first. I should have had a pause at the front. So we, so we can hear the clicks in my, in my mouth and the S's as, as I'm completing, completing this, this task. task. So, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty close, close to the microphone, microphone and then I'm, then I'm going to give it a long pause at the end. end. Okay, so not too bad. Uh, and my audio is set up pretty good. I've, I've tweaked and beeped on this thing. So we, so we can, can hear the clicks in my, in my mouth and the S's as, as I'm completing, completing this, this task. task. So, so I'm pretty, pretty close, close to the microphone. Okay, so I heard something, there's something going on right here, and I can blow this up and take a look at it, uh, but there's something going on right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this track so we can see if, it's, if it changes anything. I'm going to go uh, Edit, Duplicate. So I have the same track down here, and I'm going to hit Mute on this. Deselect it, hit Mute. And up here I have it on Solo. So we're just going to be working with this, and you can see... Uh, with this deselected and muted, everything is grayed out. Uh, and right here is that clicking sound where I think the declicker will come in. Now, how you select your audio is completely up to you. All right, I can literally click and drag over a section. I can double click to select it all. Select it all is what we're going to talk about. Now, I can also click once in this blue spot and I will select it all. I can click select, you follow me? I can click select all, and it gets everything here. So again, we'll just, uh, we're gonna go back to here, leave that. And now that the entire track is selected, I'm gonna apply the declicker first. 
we may or may not see anything because it wasn't that bad. But I'm going to, there's something going on right here that I want to keep an eye on. So I'm going to go to effects because D clicker and DS are our effects. A lot of times, depending on what version of Audacity you're running, they might download into Audacity in, in this uh, toolbar right here. On mine, they load it up into this folder called NA. So I'm going to apply the D clicker. These are the default settings, uh, which seem to be pretty good. When I hit apply, I'm going to be looking where my mouse is right here and right here and see if it cleans it up any. Don't know. It did. So you can see that it got rid of those clicks right there. That's fantastic. And you can look down here and see uh, in the original, the clicks are here and now they're gone. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to bring this down a little bit. And I'm just going to, let's, let's play it. Listen. My mouth and everything. Everything. So, so we can hear the clicks in my, in my mouth and the S's as, as I'm completing, completing this, this task. task. So, so I'm pretty, pretty close, close to the microphone. microphone. And then, and then I'm, then I'm going to give it a long pause at the end. All right, so like right in here, there's some S's right here, and I think it was right here. So I'm going to blow this back up again and kind of scroll over here to where uh, I thought they were. And we'll just look at this first spot. Again, I'm going to select all. What do we want to do? Any way you want to select all, just select the all. Okay, all selected, effects, go down to where my DSer is, click on it. Again, the factory settings, so I'm going to hit apply. Let's see if we can see anything happen uh, with the waveforms. I saw nothing. That's Audacity saying, hey, okay, it's pretty good. Just leave it like it is. Again, we can go there. I can hit DSer, apply. It's not going to do anything. Cool. Uh, and again, the, the S's weren't bad, and, and I was really close to the microphone uh, just to try and give you some obnoxious noise. Uh, but that's it. The important part of this video is we went and we found the declicker and deesser .ny files, and we downloaded them, and then we put them into Audacity in the plugin section, and then we see them in the Audacity program. So uh, if there's nothing more, Go ahead and like this video if it was helpful, and go ahead and follow me. We're going to be doing a lot of other videos on everything that I play around with in this world. So I'll see you on the next video.